Yeah, I'm making this video while I'm driving down the road. Uh, I'm telling you this right now. Very few will ever inherit the kingdom. I may not make it, but I'll try to wake people up while I'm... While I'm, while I'm uh, whatever. So, uh... It's a shame that so many people out here think that they're so smart. So, so smart. You know, knowledge may have was going to increase, but doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be any smarter. I think uh, as a whole, knowledge was going to increase, not as an individual. So, uh, a few nights ago, I don't know why, but I was checking out an, an obituary of someone that had died from a car accident. And somehow or another, it led to someone else. Because I just kept on checking things out. And, uh, I had always heard that I gotta talk louder than my this noise coming between in my door. Uh, I had always heard that there was probably a woman's Freemason society out here, and uh, I finally found it. You know, I've never I've never investigated because I could care less. It's called the Eastern Star or something like that. And, uh... You know what Christ said once before? When he was here, he said something about how, uh... I can't remember the scripture, and I don't even know what I'm getting ready to say is even close. But he was basically say, making a, a, a claim that people didn't know what they were doing. Well, today, people know what we're doing out here. There's no doubt. I don't know how there would ever become a false prophet, but unless it was all about getting a pocket full of cash, because I don't think I could ever be a false prophet. I know you guys hate to hear that. That's right. God didn't make me a watchman. I know you guys, you, I know y'all ain't listening. I don't know what to say. Unless I said everything I know, you guys are never going to like the things that I say. And I'm not going to ever come up those things. Oh, there are people out here that know. But... When I found this female's woman's Freemason society, I saw a picture because I Googled it. And I saw a lot of women that were in their 60s and 70s that were a part of this society. Now, Billy Graham may have been a part of, the, of this society, too. Or a cult. I don't know. I know Billy Graham said a couple of things that I, did, I, I disagree with. But... Because, see, I know there are times when I make videos and I say things that I knock women and knock men out here, the things that they're doing. I mean, I, I, I knock myself. I, 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 I talk bad about myself, the things that I do. But I do give women credit on certain things out here. 
a lot of women will recognize conviction when a lot of men will not. But men and women out here have pride. There's no doubt about that. Thank you. Can you make it a little quieter? And, uh, but I saw these women and I'm like, how could these people ever get drawn to something like this? And it doesn't make a difference whether it's a woman or a man. And I have heard before that there have been Freemasons that have infiltrated the church. And I'm sure there are Freemasons that believe in God. But I'm still trying to figure out why they have a Bible with fake gods in it. Fake deities. So evidently they think there's more than one God. I mean, there was a video on YouTube where a guy found a Freemason Bible and, he, and exposed this stuff. And when they pass away, they want that Bible back. I know there are white Freemasons, black Freemasons, men and women also. I met a Hispanic guy when I was in New Mexico that was a Freemason. But the ignorance, the ignorance of people out here Especially to think that they could be of God and be a Freemason. You're not supposed to talk about God in their cult assemblies. And then to find out, you know, if, if, if what's his name was a Freemason and he was a Baptist, he's not the only Baptist out here that's a Freemason. And there are Catholic Freemasons, and there are all kinds of people out here that are Freemasons. I know there's enough rumors out here of things that I believe a lot of the rumors or conspiracies. But it's sad to know that when I looked at this cult Freemason women's society one picture I saw like 30 women now that was probably just one cult lodge that's probably not looking at the entire world so that's truly pretty pitiful you know when, I, when Obama was in office and you heard about all these black people getting killed? I didn't believe it. I don't believe it. At all. I'm not going to say one black person didn't get killed or two, but I don't believe it all. I mean, you saw the people that took the money from Soros or whoever it was that had buses full of people to protest so they protested they bust in both sides I don't trust a single soul out here I barely trust any of y'all out here I definitely don't trust any of the Christians out here making videos claiming to be of God claiming to have Christ and the Holy Spirit dwelling in them and they're nothing but a bunch of liars And I know what they're preaching. And what's sad is the majority of the public believes in what they're preaching. Nothing more than a falsehood or a lie. Now, I don't know who started this rumor and all this crap. Oh, I know, I know who started it. Satan. And he's got hook, line, and singer, the majority of the world going to the lake of fire right now. 
the majority of Christians and, and everyone else. Hooked, line, and sinker. If I wasn't driving, I'd act like I was casting a fishing pole. Hook, line, and sinker. But it's truly sad how people could get a who who how people could have gotten caught up in all this and even the lies in the church today. But at the end of the day, people aren't going to wake up, and I know they're not. People aren't going to come to God. I know they're not. Some will when they de when they decide it's better off getting beheaded I wonder how many Christians are going to take the mark of the beast I know people haven't been preparing like they should you know prepping because I know it's not going down like everybody thinks it is I know the rapture is not like everybody thinks it is I know it's not happening just like everybody thinks it is. Oh, it's happening. Just not when most people think it is. But it's pitiful. Absolutely pitiful. I mean, there are these people that want to be Freemasons. They're young, too, and want to be a part of it. It's no different than what I've seen, and don't think I'm being racist here, when I've seen black people, and, and I, don't, I think I saw somebody the other day, and, it, and this person wasn't even black, had that little circle on top of a cross, some Egyptian crap. That's another way Satan's taking people down. I don't know what to say. God pour your wrath. That's all I've got to say is God pour your your wrath. Let judgment come and let people pay the price they deserve. Hallelujah there. I mean, I've seen people out. I've seen. I even Googled it one day. Uh, the Illuminati. That's another Satan organization, with that skulls and bones and all that crap out there. Nothing but of Satan. And you can be a part of the Illuminati. Of course, you're just going to be a branch of. Uh, excuse me, a bunch of ignorant Illuminati. you can Google it if you can be a part of the Illuminati. But I can guarantee you ain't going to be the real Illuminati. <laughs> oh well, a lot of witches out here. A lot of tarot card readers. Palm readers. So on and so on. All going to the lake of fire. But the modern day Pharisees is probably going to fill the lake up. The modern day Pharisee Christians probably going to fill it up. What do you got to say about it? I mean, I don't see people waking up out here. Sure don't. Seared conscience and everything. Heart and heart. What are those other two? Uh, 
Oh well. I mean, I've seen women sit here and say, I, I want my husband to get away from this Freemasonry. Can't get their husband. I mean, it's a pride issue. If a person even knew that they were of Satan and the church, I mean, they ought to know they are. The church ought to know they are. All because of their actions? That's right. I, I don't understand how these Jezebels how these Jezebels can be so deceptive. All nice and talkity. Know all the scriptures. Know the word of God. And so deceptive. And all they have to do is say one thing. Ruins their whole entire message. But everybody out here is worshiping them. Oh, this person's a person of God. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Hallelujah, I love your message. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yep, they have a false spirit. They don't have the Holy Spirit. You'll know them by their fruit. Believe me. Like I said, just listen around. They'll eventually tell the truth. The truth that they're a part of. Oh well. I mean, really, <laughs> with God telling me that only 3 to 4% of the entire population is going to make it, go figure. I think everybody should want to step back. Actually, step back, look in the mirror. Like I'm looking at my phone. Maybe actually, step back, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Full of pride, that's why they don't want to listen. I really thought that that video I made about pride, I really thought people would share that. Maybe people would wake up, but evidently the people watched it didn't like it. Isn't it crazy that most Christians out here give more credit, more credit to the lying pastors, more credit to people like John Calvin, and even given more credit of Paul in the Bible than they do Jesus Christ. They don't even want to tell the whole story either. Acts 26, 20, that you need to repent, that Paul said, oh yeah, let's talk about Paul, let's not tell the whole story. But I know where most Christians are at kind of where I'm at right now. It's called darkness. I know who you're following. And I know what I'm following. The flesh. I know what you are. I know what I am. A bad fruit. I know, I know you don't like it, that you're a tear. Like I'm a tear. What's gonna happen to the tear? Bundled up, thrown into the fire? What's going to happen when you don't bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit? You're going to be cast into the lake of... Honed down, excuse me. Let me not forget that. Honed down and cast into the lake of fire. Out here living in sin, you're lawless. Jesus Christ denies people that are lawless. Y'all out there, workers of iniquity, what does Jesus do to the people that are workers of iniquity? You know, the ones that said, look what I did for you. 
Look what I did. I cast demons out. I did this. I went around preaching the falsehood to everyone. I thought I was being right, but I was actually wrong. Following the God of this world, the lawless one. But I'm wondering how many people are out here doing this stuff deliberately, knowing that they're of Satan. I remember seeing a Freemason one day saying, well, we're just waiting for people to get raptured away. So you know there's a God. Because if you believe that there's a rapture, you think that you'd believe that there was a God. And you know you're of Satan. And you know you're going to the lake of fire. My goodness, how gullible can people be? Or, or let, let, let me re-say that. What's that word? We're, we're all manipulated. That's what it is. I mean, the majority of the population of the world's manipulated. That's what it is. Yep, yeah, I'm making a video driving down the road, Mr. Bus Driver. Hello, everybody on the bus. I'm making a video. The name's Jeff Olet. You can find me out there. Yeah, as society is manipulated. <laughs> and all the other hogwash. But they didn't want you to have rights, and I don't really care because at the end of the day, well, God gave you the right to be born. I mean, it doesn't say this in the Bible. This is my perspective on it. God gave you the right to be born, breathe, and die. And hopefully you make the right decision in that time. But most people are not. So, up to the lake of fire with y'all. when the time comes. But, you could always repent. You could always repent and turn to God, turn from your wicked ways, and one day be with God forever and ever. But, I mean, you're going to have to clean your ears out because there's something going on out here. You're going to have to get with God and help you, help him with, I mean, you know, go to him with that seared conscience issue that people have out here. Because you guys cho chose, chose to listen to a lie over the truth or turn the truth into a lie. So yeah, it really does hurt to see that people out here would get that manipulated with Satan and, and organizations like Freemasonry. And there's always somebody out there going to go, well, there's nothing wrong with the Freemason. I mean, they believe in God. They believe, I believe, they believe, they believe, they believe, you know, with all this, you know, covering up for someone. I was at a truck stop when I met that Hispanic guy and we were talking about Freemasons. And I said, well, you know, I, I started, and I, to be honest with you, I didn't even know the guy was a Freemason. I was starting to talk about Freemasons. The guy just happens to be a Freemason. And I brought this up, up to him about God, not being able to talk about con uh, uh, talk about God in their uh, in their temple, cult places, locations, like a lot of y'all's churches out there. I mean, I'm surprised you're actually talking about God. I know you quit talking about sin, but I'm surprised that you're talking about God. I mean, it could be if you're not a Holy Spirit-filled church, we know what what God you're talking about. But if you're a Holy Spirit-filled church, right on. I just could not imagine. I cannot imagine people let themselves get that far from the truth. 
I mean, it's like, believe me, I'm saying that people aren't smarter. I'm thinking that this world, that there, there, it's just is where it was back in the, the 1100s or whatever, whatever year you want to post up. Man, look at all the ducks. Pow! Pow! They're not moving. Maybe I could use the air horn. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what to say, people. At least y'all are breathing right now. I don't know how Satan did it. I mean, at all, man. I gotta give him a little bit of credit, man. I mean, he was really foolish to sit here and want to be God. That was very foolish of him. But he learned from it, didn't he? It was a big mistake. But a lot of rich people out here think they're God. Big mistake. Twenty six minutes. That broad path to destruction, the majority of the world is headed down. Strive for the narrow gate, but yet the majority of people are following the broad path to destruction. I just cannot imagine how everybody fell in love with all these people lying about the Word of God. And I think there are a lot of pastors out here that are not doing this stuff deliberately. They think that there's justice behind it. But believe me, they should have never, I'm telling you, Christianity should have never tried to put God under a microscope, man. Christianity should have never done that. That just proves to you that people aren't trying to be like a child because if you were like a child, then you wouldn't try to put, you wouldn't, you wouldn't claim to act like you're a know-it-all. You would be willing to listen to something. If somebody could ever tell you something, the better or something that you know, that's, uh, you'd be willing to come to the truth. But people are not willing to come to the truth. That's pride. I'm telling you, it's pride. Pride. The issues I've got is pride. I never knew, I never really knew it. It is. That's what's going to cost everybody is pride. Oh, well. And again, there ain't no one saved. God told me we could lose the Holy Spirit. I don't know why you guys went down that path. You can't go back to being in the darkness. You guys know that. It's all right there in God's Word. You can't be of the flesh and the spirit. You can't be of the light and the darkness. Come on! There ain't gonna be no excuse for ignorance. If you're in sin, you're of darkness. Your father, the devil. What brought the darkness into this world? What brought, the, what brought the darkness into your life? Sin. And I still love, you know, I saw some people commenting the other day about how it's not right to, to add to God's Word. Look at all the liars that have added to God's Word. Nowhere in the Bible does it say, Jesus died for your present and future sins. I said that for the longest time, and the only thing that I've added to their sins is that the only way Jesus died for your future and present sins is if you go back into sin.
See, I try to cover everything. That's the only way that he died, but he did not intentionally die for you to go back into a life of sin. It's the reason why he warns us not to hang around sinners, because I know what you'll do, and I know what I'll do. If you're guilty, I'm guilty. Crucify the flesh, that's what his people do. Most Christians aren't out here crucifying the flesh, are they? They're going to say they're crucified with Christ. Ah! Ah! That's after you crucify the flesh, people. You can't throw one. You're not trying to make no excuse out here. That's nothing more than an excuse. That's enough of this video. Got a couple more videos and I'm through.